Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Link or Island custom map for the DayZ Modern Armor 2. So this is going to be a guide for the Steam version of installing this map. So if you aren't using Steam, unfortunately I cannot help you. But since most people are using Steam, it should be a helpful guide anyway. So before you do anything, you do need to make sure that you are opening up the beta patch of Armor 2 rather than using the normal patch, otherwise you will not be able to play DayZ or anything like that. And of course you do need to make sure you are actually running a version of the DayZ mod and the actual beta patch that is working. So make sure before you do any of this that you follow my guides on the DayZ actual mod and also the Armor 2 beta patch and make sure that works before you do any of this. And to make sure that it opens up using the beta, you just need to go to this file path, go expansion, then beta and copy armor2oa.exe, go back back and then I recommend backing up this, just call it anything. I'll call it Armor 2 OA Old. And then paste in that file. And you do need to make sure you do this whenever you update the beta patch. But since you don't do it that much, it's not really that important. So if you do end up updating your beta patch and you have some problems, that's probably the reason why. The rest of the tutorial is very easy. It is actually quite hard to do without... Um, using this guide because there's a few different files and it's a bit weird where you have to put them in all that kind of stuff but I've made it nice and easy all you need to do is download this one file from a media fire and there will be a link in the description below so just click on that link and it should automatically start downloading so just download that file it'll, it'll take a while it's quite a big file but once you've done that just go to where you've downloaded it to in my case it is in downloads and then just open up using winraw 7zip anything like that and go to this file path here, it's exactly the same file path we were in just a second ago. So if you can close it, then good for you, you can just not go back to it. So go to here, there'll be a full file path in the description below, and then drag and drop both these files into here. It will take quite a while to extract, no matter what extract you're using, because they are very big files. But it's okay, because that's pretty much the end of the tutorial, other than this last one step, which is again, a bit more copying and pasting. So go back onto Steam, go Library, and right click on your Operation Arrowhead Properties, and Set Launch Options. And then you just need to paste in these launch settings here ignore the part at the end that's just true so i can show you guys that it is working in game quickly at the end so there'll be the full um launch options in the description below so just copy those into your armor 2 operation arrowhead and once you've done that you are literally done if you do want to go ahead and play the game as normal then just change your launch options back to the normal launch options you were using before then it is a bit weird to swap in and out of both but it works pretty well either way um, yeah, just launch up the game and it should work straight away. Of course, you can't use 6th launch or anything like that. Well, you can, but for my tutorial, it's not going to work. But I mean, if you can work out how to do it yourself, then good for you. I don't really like the 6th launcher and I don't recommend using it. But if people want to use it, then, you know, go for it. This works fine for me. So just launch up the game and I'm going to quickly get into a server and show you that it is indeed working. Just a quick disclaimer, but since of course this is an unofficial map, all the servers which are currently running it are using private hives, meaning that doing this does not affect your normal Shinaros character whatsoever and vice versa. But anyway, I'll bear it back when I'm in game. Actually, just a quick word of warning, well not a word of warning, a piece of advice, but if you go into your multiplayer browser and change your filter to Lingo, it's a lot easier to find the servers which you're going to actually have to join, which are these servers here, of course. You will notice certain servers are using different kind of um, add-ons, ones which you probably don't have. For example, this server is using Ace. So in that case, just avoid that server completely because unless you've got Ace installed, you cannot join that server. Just join these other servers down here, which work perfectly fine. And you can see no one else has Ace, apparently, because there's only one person on the server. But I will be right back when I'm in game, as promised. Okay, so I'm now in game, and as you can see over there, assigned scene Lingo. I am indeed in the beautiful island of Lingo. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have got any questions, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I will try to help you out if I can. There will, as usual, also be a full step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do want to go ahead and read through that. And if you did find the video useful or informative, then please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.